Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you the Mooney Rivaling Hyperelastic model used in finite element analysis. Mooney Rivaling is very well known and very um, popular in the rubber like material simulation. If the material is incompressible, if the strain or stretch is less than 150%, then Mooney Rivaling is a very good um, model to use so i'm use i'm using a well sim for this demonstration uh, let's check the unit okay the unit is uh, metric kilogram millimeter okay then let's start a new project first we create a new material that is uh, only rivoli material okay then you can see there are four candidates about the money reveling two, three, five, and nine. It represents how many num how many um, parameters in this model. So there are four types of money reveling models. So in this video, I'm gonna choose uh, the five parameter money reveling. Okay, then we need to input some values. I already prepared the parameters here. The first one C10 is negative 0.55. And the seven for the C zero one, C twenty is one point seven, C eleven is two point five, C zero two is negative point nine. And for the incompressibility parameter, we give it a zero point zero zero one. Yeah. And note that uh, all these units uh, make par. Okay. So definition, uh, definition is outside. Let's rename this material called uh, only Rivling 5. Okay. We create a very simple geometry in this video to save our time. And we change the height to be 10 millimeter. Okay. And don't forget this very important step. We need to assign this uh, only Rivling 5 material to this body. For the machine, we keep the default. Uh, we set the quadratic to the four, to the to the true, and we have we generate a high order element. Okay. Then for the boundary condition, we're gonna impose a constraint on the bottom, and I impose a displacement on the top of the surface. And I want to press compress this body, so I set a constant a negative four on this direction. Okay. Since it's a nonlinear analysis, we want to increase the number of the substeps to help our convergency. Set the twenty substeps. Okay, that's it. Let's solve. So since a nonlinear analysis, we can tell uh, in the output window we can see this uh, uh, solving status. It's each sub-step we have a, non, a Newton nonlinear solver and we calculate the residual. If the residual is smaller than some uh, some values, then we think it's convergent and move to the next sub-step. So far, it's good. Sometimes, nonlinear, particularly for the nonlinear material analysis, it can be non-convergent. So, at that scenario, we can change the the nonlinear solver settings. We also can change the the parameters for the material. So, either way, so we can try to get it convergent. But so far, in this model, uh, it's good. We Looks like the model is converging and uh, solved. Good. Let's add a stress and a reaction force and see. For the stress, I want to see the last step. Click. Now we can tell the stress. So we can see uh, the stress here. Oh. The stress here, this is the maximum the stress, uh, one basis stress is kind of nonlinear curve, the very obverse nonlinear. I want to see the deformation as well, so I want to shoot deformation. 
this body is compressed a lot. Okay. And the maximum of the stress is almost about 100 megapods kind of big. Yeah. Reaction force on low the constrained area. How many newtons on the surface? So it's about uh, 6509 newton uh, reaction force on the bottom. Okay, that's it. So this uh, quick video should show you how to um, create a, a lonely riveting nonlinear material also apply to the simulation to get a result. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye.